Man, Cal, I wanted to get you on. We're about to go to break here, but you talked to Breitbart two days before he died, and, and, I, and, I, and, and he told you, yes, this will bring down Obama. I can't tell you what it is. And I said, that's incredible news, man. I know you were friends with him, had him on, you know, on your show dozens of times. And you said, yeah, but he already said that in his speech. No, but you're another person he said it to privately. Tell us what's coming up after the break, man, Cal, in 30 seconds. Uh, you want me to tell you in 30 seconds or you're giving me 30 seconds? Tell, tell, tell me what's coming up, your Lord. Well, that's longer than you give me. Tell me what's coming up. Uh, you and I, I believe our lives are in danger and, and others. Uh, this this is the end of the movie, The Godfather, the original Godfather. They're going to knock off anyone that questions, anyone that raises a little hell. Unless we're aware of it and understand it and don't buy their story. Oh, Man Cow. Oh, Matt Drudge. Oh, Alex Jones. Oh, Michael Savage. They all died of heart attacks. And, and in two hours, they told us it was natural causes. We'll talk to Eric Man Cow Muller. Okay, uh, Eric Muller, known as Man Cow Syndicated Radio Host, is our uh, guest here. And you, you were starting out with the fact that uh, you believe this is a purge, undoubtedly it is. Look at him making a big deal out of Limbaugh, trying to get him off the air right now. Uh, other talk show hosts are hiding out. Uh, all of this is going on. But, but you talked to Andrew Breitbart just two days before he died. Tell us what he told you. Alex, look, I am working on a TV show. I can't go into details yet. I do hope you'll announce it. And as you know, I wanted you and I and Breitbart to be part of this show. That was the plan, yeah. Yeah, and, and I've been working on this thing for a year. Breitbart had signed off. Breitbart and I were speaking not every day, but every other day. Breitbart was on my silly little radio show once a week. And he was going to do a segment like the old Jack Anderson segment of Good Morning America that you and I grew up with. Breitbart predicts. And, you know, like he broke the Wiener story or the, you know, the Anthony Wiener story or the Acorn story. He would predict what the next big story was. This Joe Arpaio, the sheriff, finding out, for example, that that Obama's paperwork, not just the birth certificate, but much of it is fraudulent. Yeah, he had like 20 CSI people confirm yeah. and they were blown away. They weren't, right. they're like, this is ridiculously fake. And so is yeah. the Selective Service, the Social Security everything yeah. and he was about to get behind that and and the commie stuff and bye bye yeah and, and look I've, i i knew uh barack obama when he was you know barry the community organizer and and for for six years people have told me they knew barack obama they knew him back in the day and he was introduced to them as foreign exchange student barack obama but look Breitbart told me he had films march 1st he had films march 1st march 1st he has films march 1st I said, break it on my show. My God, I want what Alex Jones had with Charlie Sheen. He goes, no. The the House of Cards is coming down, man, Cal. I have information that will destroy Barack Obama. It's over. I said, Andrew, what do you have? Uh, March 1st, March 1st. I said, save it for our TV show. Let me no. stop you. Let me stop you. Because you first yeah. told me three or four months ago, you said, would you do a TV show with... You and Andrew Breitbart, and I'd even right. kind of put this in the back of my mind, and, and, and I know I've been on some of your shows before, and I'm like, well, sure, man, Cal, I would be happy to. That is a good idea. And I remembered that, but I'm like, yeah, let's see it happen. And I, and I, and I know your show is happening now, but we can't talk about it. But the point is, is that I knew that you, you talked to him all the time, that you had him lined up for the show. And so yeah. this is big breaking news. I haven't seen this. I know you've talked about it on your show but this is incredible that he said, quote, the House of Cards, you're quoting him, is no, coming. No. Yeah, no, it, look, it, it's an exact quote. And, and the fact is, yesterday was Breitbart's memorial. And there was 5,000 of my friends there, a lot of people that I knew. And look, everybody feels the same way. They feel that, that uh, this guy was murdered. Uh, you know, are you there still? I'm listening. This is incredible. Okay. I mean, no, there was 5,000 people there. Look, this guy was a pioneer. He set up Drudge. He started uh, Ariana Huffington for Huffington to come out and say, well, he was a liar. Breitbart used to challenge people. Prove me a liar. It's like you, Alex. We all know Ariana Huffington is a disgusting Soros turd. No. Okay, okay, look. Uh, look, I like Ariana, and I find her uh, somewhat sexy when she's in my studio. She's a friend of mine. But look, the, the day of his death, after he made her, what, $60 million, I thought that was disgraceful. She's a disgraceful and, piece of crap. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm now look, look. Yeah, don't say that. Look, here we go, Alex. You and I, just the last couple of weeks, you were doing stupid radio shows. Davy Jones, Davy Jones. Oh, no, no, we got to wait and see. Mariah Carey, no, 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 we got to wait and see. Whitney Houston. 
Whitney Houston, whoever. Okay. Am I, since I've been doing this since the 80s. We got to wait? No, we don't know. We don't know. Amy Winehouse. No, we don't know. We don't know. This guy died during my broadcast, and they announced immediately natural causes. I, you know, look, maybe he had a heart attack. Maybe he just died. I, really. But it, March 1st, March 1st, the guy goes for a walk in the middle of the night. He's about to launch a big website. He's about to bring down the, the House of Obama. And he's dead. Stay there. Incredible. He's, More he's man cow straight ahead. Eric Mankell Muller has been a syndicated radio show host for decades, been the host of national TV shows, been on Fox News for more than a decade, has own shows. He's telling me stuff during the breaks that's just blowing me away. <laughs> uh, and I wish I could tell you this stuff. Now, Alex, Alex, <laughs> Alex. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't add to the intrigue. The point is, <laughs> yesterday, the funeral, 5,000 people at Andrew Breitbart uh, at, his, at his funeral. This is a guy younger than... Younger than us, a young man on March 1st, March 1st, March 1st. He kept telling everybody. He stood up at CPAC in front of thousands of people and said, March 1st. I asked him if he was afraid. He said, yeah, you know, a little bit. I said, they're going to kill you. I, I told him that for a year. They're going to kill you. You can't destroy, you know, Obama's brown shirt army like Acorn. You can't go after Wiener. And, and immediately my family and friends, they wanted me to quit. They want me to quit. They think, you know, Breitbart's a warning shot. I've also heard stories about Rush that he may be in danger. I mean, again, oh, I no doubt. No, no, listen, he always says things like, look at this woman, blah, blah, blah. They are trying to destroy him right now. Brother, I mean, brother, listen, okay? You and I do different kinds of radio show. He does a different kind of radio show than I do. But the fact is, this guy is a huge threat to this White House. And listen, listen to how Ed Schultz. How he talked about uh, talk show host Laura Ingram. Listen to Bill Maher using every word you can imagine for Sarah Palin. Let's just talk about, you know, uh, Islamo-fascists circumcising their daughters or, or these, these honor killings. Where are, where are the feminists? And all of a sudden, over this 35-year-old woman who said she needs $1,000 a year for contraceptions, all of a sudden he makes a joke, and it's the end of the world. Come on, this thing smells of a setup. And by the way, I haven't used a thousand dollars worth of condoms <laughs> since, I, since I started becoming sexually active. I mean, look, I, I believe. You remember the Godfather? They lined everybody up, and then they offed people. Yeah, well, they struck it one fell. So I agree, it's a warning shot. I, I mean, look at all the intimidation. Look at how that they're about the FBI yeah. going after News Corps. I mean, this yeah. is the, they're attacking, brother. Brother, I'm just telling you. People called me and they said, "Man, Cal, for God's sakes, be careful. You've got kids." Andrew Breitbart has four little children. I, I understand they were sitting in the front row at the funeral yesterday, and I mean, it just rips my heart out. And my first thought was, "You, my God, he's next. He's next." I know you're in Texas. I know you're well armed, but I'm worried for you, my friend. And and um, you know, let's just say right here, you're not suicidal. You're healthy. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I would never commit suicide. I jog yeah. four or five, six miles every day, and no, uh, I no, feel no, great. No. And, and and I've never been in better health. You saw what a what a tea drinker I was. You saw what a health nut I was uh, uh, last time I saw you. So so look, uh, we'll see what happens. How about the guy? How about the Obama impersonator found dead? Oh yeah, it's it's getting crazy. <laughs> I mean, again, it could just be coincidence, but, you know, Vince Foster and a lot of death around Bill Clinton, too. It's just, it's just amazing the amount of death around some of these people, isn't it? Well, man, Cal, I'll tell you right now that, um, I mean, him telling you, give us those quotes exactly as Breitbart, two days before you were in talks. This is big yeah. news, actually. Well, uh, well I, I, don't, I don't, look, I don't know if it's big news. I know that they promoted it. He was working on a show uh, on CNN with Wiener. I never heard anything about that. Uh, I know that he had committed to me to do a, sh a TV show with me every week on, on a major network. He was going to do a segment called Breitbart Predicts. Uh, you were to be part of it. I'm to be part of it. We're going to see what happens. But, but uh, no, we sp look, he was on the show every single week. And he said, I've got video. It's going to bring down the house of cards that is 
the House of Obama or Obama. It's over. I said, what, you know, what about Romney? What about Ron Paul? What, it doesn't matter. It's over. It's over. I've got it. I've got the And here's the $64 million issue. We're going to cover it when we come back, man, Cal. March 1st, March 1st, March 1st. He said March 1st, March 1st. Where is and it? it? If he didn't die, March 1st. And where, this is the question when we come back. Where's the video now? And how do we know it hasn't been well, excised? Where I, is it? Stay there. Okay, this is big breaking news, folks. This isn't just about Breitbart. It's about purges. A video went up today showing how you can get to the TSA body scanners with weapons. And they flipped out and had YouTube take it down when it was in a bunch of newspapers. Uh, our stories at DrudgeReport.com. This is the type of stuff we're talking about. Okay, now, it's incredible how much intel and how much info I get and how much I don't tell you because I don't like talking about myself in the third person. But we are newsmakers here. And those of us that are newsmakers, I've had the White House respond to me a year ago when we first reported how they're going to shut down most of the power plants not owned by GE to boost their profits. The White House responded, Jay Carney, saying I was a crazy liar, and then months later they admitted they were doing it. The point is... I'm on the White House enemies list that came out two years ago. It's creepy. Uh, I've had establishment types call me and say, why don't you just join the establishment? The point is, this is real. Andrew Breitbart, the day, if you just joined us here in the third hour, the day he was set to release something that was going to vet Obama, he told others that would bring him down, he, he dies. And we're going to play a clip here in a moment of him at CPAC talking about vetting him, and you know, this is going to be powerful, but... Hiding in plain view, and I meant to call him last week to get him on because I knew he had him on all the time and was friends with him, is Eric Muller, Mancow, Eric Mancow Muller of Mancow.com, who you know has done national talk shows on TV, Fox for more than a decade, syndicated radio, number one Chicago, you know the story, William Shatner's buddy, everybody uh, else's buddy. The uh, point, and we're going to get to, I want, hold on, I'm building you up here because it's true. Uh, uh, three or four months ago, or longer, he's calling me going, are you ready to do a show with me and Andrew Breitbart? Will you do it? And I'm saying there's no way they're going to let me do a show on that big TV network, but I'm sure you're going to do your show, and that's wonderful. And now he's gotten the show. We can't say the name and stuff yet, but it'll be out soon. And then, and then all this is going on, and I'm not even remembering this was happening. And then he's like, hold on, I got to go. Uh, Andrew Breitbart's calling me. So, so he's lining us up to be like the two sidekicks on the show. And I'm like, yeah, I'll see Man Cow and Breitbart on TV. They're never going to put me on. So I'm kind of halfway interested. I'm like, Man Cow, that's nice of you, but they're not going to do that. So, you know, they're going to give you a show and maybe Breitbart, but not me. So, I mean, knowing the big network it is, number one in news, I'll just leave it at that. It's hard to figure out who that is. But we're going to have a big article out on this because, you know, it's a big article that he was supposed to do a show with Wiener on CNN. According to Man Cow, I knew him well. That's not even true. This is a real show on where you'd expect him to have a show. So I'm setting the table here. So that's how credible Mancow is on his relationship with Andrew Breitbart, because he was set to the show and green-lighted, already somebody on that network. Now, he tells him, two days before he dies, Mancow tells him, and I want you to repeat all this, Mancow, because we're doing an article, and the press okay. is tuned in right uh, now. This is going right, to be in hundreds right. of newspapers. He tells you what? Repeat it all, and then get into, where's the video, the footage of him at the commie meetings that was going to be released March 1st that would, quote, bring down the House of Cards. Mancow, you've got the floor. Tell us everything. Look, uh, he may have been working on a TV show with CNN. I find it a little bit far-fetched because of, uh, you look at it, the way MSNBC treated somebody like a Pat Buchanan. The left isn't interested in the other side. Uh, I, so, but I, I don't know. Is it possible? I suppose it is. He never talked with me about it. Okay, we were working on our own little TV thing. Okay. Um, I, I, um, I just remembered something else, or, or, or something else that I haven't said yet, Alex, but basically he said he had video, he had information that would bring down the House of Cards that is the House of Obama. He says, it's all over. I brought up Mitt Romney. I brought up, I said, what about, you know, who's going to win? He goes, it, does, it doesn't matter now. It's over. Obama's over. I know the truth. And I said, is, is, is it Saudi, is he the Arabian candidate? Is, is he... You know, forget Manchurian candidate. Is he funded by Saudi Arabia? Is he a plant? He goes, it's, it's much bigger than you can even imagine. It's much bigger than that. It's much bigger. And, and, and it's over. I've got the smoking gun. I said, well, of course, I want the breaking story. Come on, buddy. No. I said, well, tell me. He goes, no. I said, are you afraid? He goes, eh. 
uh, you know, he was a he was a fearless guy, but I sensed a little bit of fear. I said, buddy, this is, you should tell somebody, you should tell somebody. And I often told him to make sure that he had, you know, duplicate copies of everything and then in case, in case anything ever happened. These are conversations that we had uh, at, a, at a place called uh, Heaven on Seven, a, a Cajun joint where we hung out in Chicago. I remember having this conversation. 